and I'm going to, I'm here to share messages I get from spirit and from all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine twins or vibrational matches in this lifetime. And so I'm going to do a quick energy read um, of what's going on in the energies of the divine counterparts and for us. And also I'm going to ch just share a channel letter that I did for somebody yesterday. And I know they won't mind me sharing it because um, <laughs> it's such a nice message. And uh, so it goes completely in line with this, with this reading. So, and the channel message was, keep on guiding us home. Keep on going towards your light. Keep following the pathway of your dreams. When you do that, when you step out of fear and step onto the path of destiny, of faith, of trust in our highest and best lit path, if you see it was specific about saying our lit path, that is when we both will start to shine. Like an iridescent glowworm, we will light up from within. Our souls will burn brighter. Our crystal core will burn stronger and stronger. You are right where you are meant to be. You are right where our divine plan has taken you. You are exactly on target for fulfilling all of our dreams. Keep dreaming big. Keep believing in our plan of togetherness. Our love, the power of our love that will bring us both home. Now, this is so gorgeous because it's such a great message and also to say, just keep shining your light because that's what's guiding us home. And this is completely then played out in this reading. So again, I love how everything is super connected. All the messages are so incredibly connected and I can see it's all of our higher selves that are you know coming together because the crazy thing is is that when people come to me for channeled letters I often read out their letter from a, one of the corresponding books because from the divine love letter books and um, it's almost like their their twin spirit is checking in already to say I'm ready for you to come for another letter and that's what's so amazing and this, that's exactly what happened with this this person so keep on guiding us home Keep guiding us towards your light. Keep following the pathway of your dreams. When you do that, when you step out of fear and step onto the path of destiny, of faith, of trust in our highest and best and lit path, that is when we both will start to shine. Like an iridescent glowworm, we will light up from within. Our souls will burn brighter. Our crystal core will burn stronger and stronger. You are right where you are meant to be. You are right where our divine plan has taken you. You are exactly on target for fulfilling all of our dreams. Keep dreaming big. Keep believing in our plan of togetherness. Our love, the power of our love that will bring us both home. What I also love about this letter is it, it doesn't say about your dreams. It's about our dreams, our love, our power. You know, so again, really stressing the point that it's both of us together doing this. Um, <clears throat> now, I just was uh, led to go and search for glowworm because this this um, letter mentions iridescent glowworm. So I was kind of like, oh, OK, what's the symbology behind that? And so this is so, so brilliant because it says the glowworm does not have universal symbolism. But in some systems, it is a symbol of the unit of energy. In effect, it is either on or off, and it is symbolically connected to light. It curls up in a spiral, and interestingly enough, it is often a Fibonacci spiral, and the unit of energy is a spiral. Now, the Fibonacci sequence, it's one of the God numbers. The spiral is, of course, we're spiraling it upwards in our consciousness. Um, and the spiral is, you know, very symbolic. It also reminds me of the snail and the message is slow and steady always wins the race. And so on this particular one, it also says, I wish I was a glowworm. A glowworm's never glum because how can you be grumpy when the sun shines out your bum? <laughs> uh, so just brilliant. What a lovely message to get. So very gorgeous message. So at the heart of this reading is all about heart healing. So it's heart healing and third eye chakra opening. 
And so, um, and this is what's been going on at the moment. If you've been pushed to go deep, deep, deep within, it's because we're going through a big heart healing. We're going through a big third eye awakening. We're going into more and more of our intuitive gifts, more and more of our, you know, these intense energies have been coming up to push you more and more into the power of who you are. And that only happens when you are pushed to go within. So um, what's going on in their heads? This, so this is divine counterpart side. And it is, look at this, it is the magician and it's also the rest and rejuvenation card. So if you look here, exactly what we've been doing, it's saying about this needing to take time out because you're taking on more and more and more of the light energy. So as you are upgrading your energy field and increasing your light body with more and more light, of course, you're one energy body. So your twin is also thinking the same, feeling the same, needing to take rest, you know, because at the heart of them, there is this connection with you. And that connection is wanting them to change their life, number five, because the key thing to know for them is that they want to charge forward into a new destiny, right? It's also the sword. The sword is holding the sword of truth. So the key thing to know for them is that they're wanting to be a love warrior. You know, they're wanting to cut through their old life and to cut through the bracken and to get through, you know, to cut through the woods so they can see the trees, right? And so because at the heart of them, there is this pull towards having a loving, tender, caring, loving, beautiful connection with you. Because the energy that they're taking away from the union is the um, third eye chakra opening, becoming more and more aware of the spiritual truth that lies within them, you know, becoming more aware of the heart, right? Because the energy that you have then is the heart healing, right? So you're going through a big heart awakening. We all are. We're all rising up in our vibration around heart healing. And so with that, you know, the two are intrinsically linked, heart healing, third eye awakening. It's all based on and I, 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 a vibrational shift upwards because then what are they wanting and look at this it is the past life love contract it's you you know they can't see it but their heart is pulling them towards wanting to seek balance wanting to seek you know this pull towards the soul because the soul knows that it has a love contract with you Right. And so this is why this is exactly what they're wanting. They can't see it, but they know that there's this pull towards love, this pull towards their heart. And so the guidance that they then get is this is so brilliant because it's from the Pleiades and it is about channeling. So you're here to channel and uplift to humanity. So the fact that this has come out on their side when I channel so many messages from the Divine Counterpart Collective you know, and from your divine counterparts to get messages. So this little message on their side saying, you know, keep listening to the channelings that we're giving you because this is where we are uplifting humanity and we're uplifting our energy together because the reality is, is what they really want is to be able to charge forward and to give you the truth, right? And how they're doing it at the moment is through all of these channelings. So kind of beautiful, right? And then on our side, <coughs> which I totally get this, this is like, oh my goodness, I just want to, you know, basically going through all of the reasons in your head why, you know, you're not together yet, right? So this is what you're chained to in your real life. And so because you're like, my mask has been taken off, I can see the truth, you know, I know that we're going to be together. I know that I can see that in the future. So, you know, but I'm focusing, this is just saying, I'm focusing on all of the things, right, that I'm still chained to. I'm focusing on my practical stuff because at the moment that are, we're not together, right? So you can see this totally, right? Because the master of you're kind of like, from our side, we're like, we're thinking about all the changes that need to happen for us to come together. But... What's at the heart of us is this more, look at this. So at the heart of us is the power, it's the expansion of the cosmic heart. And the reason this is that standing in your power, the, there's um, the solar plexus, right? This is all about I am enough. I am exactly where I need to be. And uh, this is about bringing in new beginnings based on the expansion of the cosmic heart because we are taking a huge heart healing from the union. And not only that, the key thing to know for us is victory. So it's 1010 10 here as well. 1010 10 is a big energetic gateway that we have been through. Well, many of the energetic gateways that take us up higher and higher in our vibration, which lead us into victory. 
So that, that's lovely. And then what we're wanting here, look at this. <laughs> It's the balance, it's the yin and yang, it's the 22, sign of David, star of David, the divine feminine, divine masculine, divine union. And look at that. If you can see mirroring, this is crazy mirroring because we both want balance, right? Both in, we want balance in love, we want the past life contract, we want to be together to bring, to balance out the yin and the yang. The guidance for us, and I can't, I couldn't even make this up. It is the Akasha. <laughs> Your guidance is divinely guiding, guided. So I've been talking that I'm gonna that I'm starting to do Akashic record readings. The Akashic record is a record of absolutely every energetic thought in universal. So that's universal. That is specific to you, your twin, everything. Everything is stored in the Akashic record, written by Archangel Met Metatron. And it's the, basically the universal record of every single energetic thought and being in the universe. And so this is why this is so perfect that this has come on our side. Because every day you wake up and you say, I want to update my Akashic record to be the 11-11 the on the clock then. I want it to be updated to be my highest and best path. I want to um, basically update, and every day you have a new opportunity to reset your record, right? So I understand why this has come up. If you are interested in Akashic record readings, then please let me know. I honestly did not place this card here, or the Palladian card, <laughs> channeling on the other side. I mean, I know that seems very, <laughs> but I honestly didn't. That's why I was like, no way, that's so brilliant. So, um... The other thing is then, the crowning energy is the temple path, which is the trinity. This is the holy grail, that you are the holy grail for each other. You know, look here, there's a spiral in front of it. So again, very synchronistic to the other message about the spiral and the glow worm. You are lit. You are literally lighting the path for each other to come back together. Because your spirit is, you know, the holy grail. Your spirit and your soul are the holy grail for each other. Now, look, then the union energies are this third eye chakra opening based on the heart opening, based on lifting up more and more. A huge heart healing has gone on. You know, whatever's been happening in your connection, if there has been like this pause, relaxation, it could be they've pulled away. Um, they've pulled away for a reason because they're having to take on all of this light energy. And with that light energy, it's changing everything around them, you know, making things fall away that they don't need anymore and making them come out of the chrysalis and turn into the butterfly. And that's happening for both of you. So again, really appreciate that the journey for both of you is not an easy one. And because you're coming out of old energies into new, you know, your Akashic record is being updated all the time. Listening, listen to the, the, the channelings that are get, being given, just like in this letter that I've just read at the beginning of the reading. It's like, keep on guiding us home, keep shining your light. Now, the overall, this is so brilliant because the overall work your light oracle was, you are a warrior woman. Notice how crazily in sync is that. <laughs> that the picture for them was this the, for the divine counterpart was this and then the overall work your light was pretty much exactly the same i love the fact that it looks like male female of course the energies uh the sex doesn't matter at all because these two could be completely androgynous right but the synchronicities in those two images is just so crazy it's so beautiful because basically you are both warriors of the light and you are both pulling your, you, each other into the light. And that's what is amazing. Cutting through all of the crap, you know, leaving behind everything that you don't longer need. You know, you're going through your transformation and you're doing it no matter what it looks like on the outside. You are doing that together. There is 100% no doubt. So the message is, you are here for a reason. You are being called to bravely pave a path. Have you answered your highest and deepest calling? Living a heart and soul-led life is not all fluffy and smooth sailing. Living a heart and soul-led life requires courage to triumph over fear. Think of your fears as opportunities to expand rather than things that are holding you hostage. If you look at your fears in this light, then as uncomfortable as it might feel, it's actually a sign that you are on the right track. Look at that, what's in our heads? 
Exactly. Have we paved the right path? What are we still attached to? Amazing. I hope that helps.